I bought myself a Christmas present. I've been doing stuff with high voltage for a while now and the fluke is good. It goes up to a thousand volts, but uh, I often go there well that's actually not that high for what I've been doing, so I treated myself to this. Genuine fluke, 40,000 volt capable probe designed to go with my meter, so it should be basically a thousand to one attenuator. And I uh, thought I'd get out a microwave oven transformer, and one of the trusty neon sign transformers, and uh, give it a whirl. Okay, got it hooked up. So, with the uh, microwave oven transformer, the high voltage side here, this is one side of it, and then the other side is typically tied to the iron core. And then the core is bolted into the microwave, which is in contact with the frame of that, and it's earthed via that. So, I don't have a frame here, so I've connected the earth wire directly to the the core there and the earth from the high voltage probe which ensures that my meter stays at a nice safe voltage and any of the nasty voltage will be all up at this end here. So we'll uh, turn it on and I'm not going to actually use the probe I think I'm going to use a, a jumper wire here to just connect them up. It'll be safe but I don't really like being unsafe when I don't have to so yeah. Right, plugged her in and humming but no explosions that's a good sign and we've got 2.134 volts so approximately 2100 volts which is what it says it gives well, it's, actually it's on the sticker on the back of the microwave but yep 2100 volts is pretty similar typical for microwave oven transformer and there we go all right so onto the neon sign transformer now this one's uh, rated for 15,000 volts and these are different from the microwave oven transformer where one side is tied to the frame. This one, the middle of the secondary is tied to the frame. So that's where the earth is connected. That's its proper earth connection and that's in halfway here. So it means that I can't, using this setup at least, safely measure the difference between the two outputs unless I float the whole thing, which I can't be bothered doing. Um, so what I'm going to do is just measure each half separately and add them together and that will give me my total voltage. No real hum from this one. But we've got 7.3, so 7,300 volts on that side. And now on the other side, and we've got 7, so pretty close to 7,000 volts. So it's 14.3, adding the two together. A um, little bit done to spec, but not by that much, and it's not that important anyway. Now to build some voltage doublers.